All right, welcome back. Bob Saunders here, uh, doing my run to unlock ships. And so far, uh, this is the second video. I have unlocked zero ships, but I'm getting there. I'm starting. Uh, one thing, if you're familiar with the game, uh, right now we have it sorted by the most recent game you've played. So save number nine happens to be at the top because that's where Dimitri is in the Assault Scout. Uh, this is a new style assault scout with the power to see other ships in the sector. You don't know what they are, but you know they're there, so you can go attack them, or you can keep away from them. All right, I... Whoa, cool. Delivered a package. That was a quest I had. I get a stun beamer. <sighs> That's a long-range weapon. Hmm. Where where is the stun beamer that I was supposed to get? Hmm. I don't know. Kind of weird. It does not appear to be in my inventory. Corona shield. All right, I bought a grenade so that I could Learn a recipe. All right. I'm going to install this Corona Shield. And I'm going to find a star to travel over. That is a black star. I can definitely not travel over that. That's a banker ship. Hello, bankers. Everything you want, all you need. Bring what you have. Take what you can. Just a short, small look at banker philosophy. Ah, a shipwreck at 2411. Cool, man. And uh, it used to tell you that, but thanks to, a, uh, thanks to a player suggestion, it now actually appears on the map, which I've never had actually happen in a game, but that's really cool. So... Thank you. All right. All right, there's a star in the past. I could not go over it. I will use my new Corona Shield. Um, and a new class of ship has been unlocked, the Star Skimmer. All right. All you have to do is put on a Corona Shield and fly over a star, and you've unlocked your first new ship. All right, I'm going to put the other device back in there. Replace... The Corona Shield. <sighs> and head for this shipwreck to go after more squither larvae. Alright, do I have a spin attack? I do not. I know that these guys aren't afraid of anything, so I'm not going to use Intimidate. What other skill could I use? Dodge. Get rid of that, put on that. Alright. That makes me dodge the next, like... Well, the first attack for the next four turns. So if I get attacked by two things, the second attack is going to hit. All right. Boy, that's a long cooldown. Hope I don't get in another situation like that. All right. Head back. Oh, yeah. Man, the Assault Scout starts with a suit with almost no oxygen. I mean, 100. It's really low. All right. And Wrexham Aussie was killed by a primordial liquidator on the same planet. Man, she should stop going there. All right. Grenade. Oh, I bought an incendiary. Oh, it's plasma. Awesome. I love all the special special effects. There you go. Oh, that's right. I got a shock pistol now. Shorter range, but electricity damage. 
Do I have? Yes. So let's try repair skill. That is my engineering officer. Is she engineering or navigation? She's definitely yellow. She's engineering. Oh, and she's a crafting specialist. Nice. So, like, if there's any uh, anything in your way, that skill can really help. Like, if you can't get past a certain location. Or, if you have magnetic boots and you want to do a spacewalk, you just walk up there, do, 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 do. But I can't do that right now, because I don't have magnetic boots. All right. I'm out of this shipwreck. But this whole run is considered a success as long as I, or because I, have already unlocked one ship. Oh, man. All right, I'm out of his firing range. Those things. Oh, hey, let's take a little closer look here. All right, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a note. And that'll appear on the space map so that I'll know so that I'll know to come back there if I need supplies. Anyway, these uh, green guys, they can give you diseases. Let's let's see. Lumpy mutated growth shock is deadly. Cutting damage is deadly. Attacks may transmit disease. So that's why I don't really want to get too close. I want to use shock damage because it hurts them but I don't want to get close enough to use it because then they can shoot me. Oh, shock hurts red-eye raiders too. Man. Eyeballs. Grenade. Cool. I know. I know how to use a grenade. I know how to field install things. I'm good. 107, that's pretty good. Take my shock pistol. Oh yeah, can we refill our air? Let me rest to heal and head back. All right, I gotta use my sniper. Okay, red force field. Auto explore, lockers. That thing won't attack if I don't get too close. And cyber ghasts, if you don't know, those are tough enemies. You just have to not, not make them angry. And they don't like it when you get close. Yeah, I can do that, man. Dodge, regenerate, repair, teleport. Ah. So what the heck, let's use teleport in a non-running away fashion. Because I want to get down here. And pick up that gun. And hit that red button. Although I do have a shock pistol. Which is probably pretty useful. Against cyber ghasts. Alright, cool. So much stuff. Totally worth coming here. All right, a lot of red dots. I know bankers are here. Whoa. A lot of black stars, too. Good price for data. I'll sell it. No room to hire another. Ooh, but a Pathfinder. That could be an excellent officer. Sell all that stuff. And now a cloaking device. Yes. I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to get rid of my shield. That seems like a pretty good weapon. Let's see. It goes in slot 2. It has range 5, cooldown 3. It does mm, more damage in a single burst. For 7,000 credits, I'll sell it. So that officer, I need 17,000 credits. I can afford them. I just need to level myself up more. 
and I am not there yet. How does an operative get uh, get XP? Cloaking, avoiding traps, and extra for completing quests. Okay. That's neat. Well, I think I installed my cloaking device, so let me turn invisible. All right, it's a tactical cloak, so it only lasts a few turns. Uh, so now when I mouse over these guys, well, this says non-hostile. Uh, so that means that it won't, it won't break my cloak if I get close to it. Hostile ships will. All right, and I decloaked, and a new, new class of ship is unlocked, the Stealth Runner. So in short order, I have unlocked two ships. They are, granted, very easy ships to unlock. But now you have two more small ships to start the game with. Uh, but I also don't have a shield. So I'm going to get rid of the, the cloak, put my shield back in. I'm going to install this grenade because it's a little better. Um, Corona shield. I don't know how much I care about that. All right. I can salvage this, but it still doesn't increase my crafting level. Man, this won't do me any good. I sort of feel like every time you learn a new recipe, it should increase your level regardless of anything else. What do you think? I bet you feel the same way because it feels kind of terrible. Like, I don't even want to make cloaking devices. I might be able to sell it for a fair amount of money. All right. So it's a pirate. Let me see if I can get him to surrender. So that's what that said basically was, hey, that pirate's badly damaged. You should hail it. Maybe it'll surrender. All right, cool. So that gives me a slight boost of reputation with the pirates. All right, can't land there. Here's another shipwreck. And I'm thinking that the gruff quest ought to be just about completed. Yep, almost there. <laughs> That's a lot of food. Some of these ships are so full of stuff. Unfortunately, it's right now it's just garbage. I'm just going to be dumping that all over space. Hey, there was a crafting manual. Awesome. All right, and that was the last squither that I needed to kill. And yet, I'm still screwing around with these. All right. Auto explore, pick up that food. Now, crafting parts matter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, dude, head home, will you? Auto explore. I make no I make no claim that it's perfect. I know it's flawed. It's like right when you think everything's fine, it does something stupid. Okay. So oh my goodness, both of those black stars blew up at the same time. Alright, they're black holes now. So look out. Alright, I will take these supplies. I will hold on to my data. I will buy harmonic breakers. I will sell this stuff. Rusty sword, look at that. I'll buy the heck out of that. I think I already know how to make melee weapons. So there's no point in uh no point in salvaging that at this point. Probably a better shield.
I'll learn how to make shields. I'm going to salvage that thing. I'm going to sell the rest. Yeah, 20000 for that cloaking device. About half what I bought it for, but still totally worth getting some more money. Another nav beacon. We can handle it. My team's good. Ship down here. It's a banker. Already talked to him. What's that ship? Banker. Talk to these bankers here. This is a banker headquarters. Um, they have the banker race quest. Hey, a better suit all around. Thank you. I will take it. Nice head. I think I'll take it. Salvage that suit. Very slightly better thruster. Sounds boring, but I'll take it. Salvage that up. I am not doing this banker quest. Oh, except if I want to unlock the dealer, I have to do that banker quest. Oh man, I should have brought pay it forward money. Well, I forgot. I'm not going to do it now. So let's head here where there is a Gruff space station, and I will turn in that Gruff quest. And they gave me an incendiary shotgun. That's pretty neat. Not worth salvaging. Quite possibly worth saving. Another Gruff quest. All right. We're not friendly enough yet. Whoa. Not by a lot. I guess I need to go kill some Gruff. Man, it's all tentaculums. Hi, guys. Can we be friends? There. Do they like being hailed? They do. And then we fight. We talk, and then we fight. I'm, I'm okay with that. So yeah, the Assault Scout, Predator, it was originally uh, called Predator Scanners by the guy who came up with a Clockinator. Thanks, Clock, good idea. But it's not so much, you know, that, that sort of makes it seem like you should go and kill everything. Um, so it's just uh, renamed the Emission Tracer. But it lets you see uh, all the enemies, or potential enemies, on the screen. Pick up supplies. I will buy those crafting parts. Sell this garbage. <sighs> an eviscerator? Oh yeah, you have any officers here? No. So I need to level myself up so I can hire more officers. And I need to complete quests. It says XP for cloaking. I think I sold my cloak. I did. Hmm. All right. So I got a new suit. See if I can handle this planet now. Yep. Creatures will be weaker than normal. Except there's still lava. If that thing was weak, oh man, a hoarder. Well, the sniper doesn't do very good damage. The shock pistol seems to hurt it. All right, let's go into caves.
Sword's good. Ra rabat. Oh no. Those things are tough. And they carry disease. Which means every time they hit you, there's a chance you could catch it. Some diseases are really bad. I don't think there's a good disease in the game. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Am I going to make it? Yes, but barely. I don't really get it. People will often complain about the oxygen warning. Personally, I think, I mean, I need as much warning as I can get. Uh, all right, so that's that planet. Have I been here? I have. Haven't been there. Check that out. Oh, it's a silver city. Oh, it's it's a human colony. Interesting. Do I have an incendiary weapon? I do. So I will take the incendiary instead of the shock pistol. Uh, sometimes your shots will start fires. All right, cool. I'm into that. Shotgun's very short range, but it can hit multiple targets and set them on fire. Stupid bet. They can dodge ranged attacks. Rest to heal there. Almost got killed by a cave in trap. How's my oxygen? Half. And we'll head back to the shuttle. All right, so repair works to get around in a place like this. Cool, picked up a gun, a rapid shotgun. There, I just saw the yellow clue. It's hiding right over here. I can't get in there. Repair gets me... Oh, I think I can. And I think I just found my new uniform. That doesn't look great. She looks good like that. Oh, she gets a promotion. Hmm. Make my ship faster. See, again, I really don't think I need to worry so much about my ship.
So I'll let her be crafting officer. Bankers. Talking planets. Star temple. Those are the quests I have. I'm going to load up and head out. Supplies. Still want that pathfinder. Light plasma blaster. Now that sounds like a good weapon. I'll take it. Sonic shotgun? No. Cell? Cell? I'm going to hold on to that. I'm not really hurting for space. I will sell the data. And on to the next sector. Where I believe there's a star temple. Alright, cool. So I've unlocked a few ships in this run. The stealth runner. I guess I should scan these planets. So you see that I'm, I'm only revealing one thing at a time here, or even less. Um, scanning efficiency, 47%. That means that there's, there's about half of the things it's not telling me. Threat level, 28%. That should be an easy planet. This one scanned at like 70%, which means basically the fact that it isn't telling me anything is most of the story. Like 70% is just nothing, and that's... I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. But if you get no information and it says efficiency like 20%, then there's a lot of stuff it's not telling you. And I seem to have landed inside some sort of mountain pass or flat area that I just can't get out of. Yep, I know I can leave a note. Thanks a lot. Man, I love that officer that lets me do that. All right, Saigorn. Saigorn have an unlockable ship. I already have that. Wow. I will buy that. Excuse me. All right, well, it doesn't look worth salvaging, so I will sell the old one. Okay. Man, that grenade is way better, and it's still cheap. Oh, but my money, my beautiful money. Come back, money. Saigorn quest. Okay, right, so we're going to cheat. Going to buy a ton of boxes. I'm going to take this Saigorn quest. And I'm going to leave the station. I'm going to come back. And there, the boxes are now on shortage. I have a quest. And I sold the boxes. I get the reward. Yes, it's cheating. They should start out on... Uh, what is that called? Shortage? So you can't buy them here? Whatever. Alright. They won't give me any quests now. But I got cargo containers. And there's the temple. Am I ready? Dodge, regenerate, cryoblast, smoke screen, repair, and teleport. I'll tell you right now, teleport doesn't work on star temples. So I'm getting rid of it. 
you may have discovered that for yourself when you were relying on it. All right, permadeath game. This is serious business. And here comes the first acolyte. Oh, and a real-time effect, amnesia. The unstable alien powers are affecting our minds. Should we hurry or be even more cautious? I, I don't know what to say. It's up to you. So, okay. It's not right there. Not right there. Cool. Try down here. Okay. Hopefully I can remember. Oh, they have a power too. Bulletproof. They're already bulletproof. So they're like double bulletproof. Except it doesn't work that way. What I'm talking about is insane acolytes are already resistant to range damage. They seem to be running away. Which I think is weird. But... I can hit him with a grenade. Okay, rest to heal. And not there. Not going to hit that button. Because there's good loot, but also powerful monsters. Awesome. Captain level up. Less chance of activating traps. Seems like a really good one. So it looks like it's going to be a straight shot back to the ship once I actually find the uh, artifact. I'm withdrawing. Don't understand why they're running away. It says they're angry. And there it was. Thing I'm looking for. Pyraxu Guinean artifact. I never even found the red force field for that switch, so I'm not going to worry about it. I have retrieved the Tongue Depressor of Reclamation, a mysterious Phyraxoginian artifact. Even though it seems like a mundane item, you feel a vast and timeless power bristling beneath its surface. Now attempt to discern its purpose. And amnesia wears off. Everything starts shaking. Luckily... Oh, <laughs> there's instabilities, man. Run! Luckily, it's a straight shot. I don't think anyone died. All right. Leave the temple. And boom. Hello, Gruff. How are you today? Oh, really? 426? And you shot me. <laughs> they talk to you, and then they shoot you. That's fine. All right. So what was that thing? Not better than what I have. What device? All right, I have the artifact thing installed. So let's take a look at this thing. So the artifact catalog is more powerful than it used to be. It takes off two wrong choices. Usually there's six choices. So let's see, craft lab might not consume parts is a possible thing. More data for alien life. Protect ship from hazards. Hire more crew at less cost. <gasps> Okay, so this might be a little, you know, it's like developer knowledge, but you can learn this stuff too. Um, the Assault Scout crew is 22. And it looks like I could hire more crew. So now I have a crew of 30. I'm going to say that that's probably the thing, man. Cool. I identified it. Um, 
But a couple of these are testable. This one, more data from alien life. That's the only one that's not very testable. The other ones you could sort of figure out. Um, all right, but I identified it, and there was a surge of positive energy, and it grows stronger as a result. So what we should see is this increase further. Once I click off of here, yep, didn't go up by much. Oh, one. Thank you. Whatever. Free stuff. I'll take it. I had wanted to go back and hire that, what's it called, Pathfinder officer. Don't know where the warp point is yet. Loco Cleese. Eh, that's a boring quest. Oh, what, did I take it? I meant to leave. All right, so there's a Terran colony here. Let's take a look at my captain's log. So the engraver planet was in sector two. I don't know if I really want to go back for that. Biosignature off the charts. Oh, hey. Not what I wanted to do, but someone else leveled up. Awesome. So the transmuter does a lot of things that no one else and nothing else can or will do. Um, this increases the chance that your weapons will, like my like incendiary shotgun will start a fire or something else. This uh, cuts down trees automatically. Collect blood for data. Uh, also gives you other bonuses along the way. Jump further more often. This might actually be helpful for me. So I'll take it. All right. Basically, I just need to survive. So I'm going to deploy cover. Ah, oh, and he's still able to shoot me. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Resist incendiary, resist explosive. So I won't use incendiary on him. I lost my first crew member. I could leave now. So that's what I'm doing. I didn't want to be there anyway. Scanning efficiency, 35%. So like I said, I'm missing a lot. But I don't want to go down there either. I'm going to go here. All right, so this is a closet. Because there's a ton of uniforms. I'm running away. Oh, yeah, incendiary. Oh, no. Okay, tactical error. I'm going to get ready to dodge when they get close, too. All right, dodge. I'm going to keep using the incendiary shotgun. Okay. Uh, that could have easily killed my crew. But by using skills at the beginning of the fight, I handled it. Because I was basically surrounded. I can't throw a grenade far enough to, to hit them all. I was basically surrounded, you know, on two sides. And I, I could have got a disease or something, so... Okay, they hit me. Zombies are really slow, and if you can keep distance on them, you can usually survive even a big group of them. And a shotgun has knockback. How much air do I have left? Cool. 
Cool. Made it. Oh, no. All right. Still doing good. Man, that sniper's pretty ineffective. Whoops. Oh, how many uniforms do I have? Oh, I already have this enchantment. I mean, not enchantment. Achievement. <laughs> cool. Head on back. Uh, you just saw the 100% explored. Another thing that's going to happen during 1.7 is you're going to be able to do something with shipwrecks uh, in the same way that you do when you survey a planet, take it off the map, get money and stuff for it. Now, there's a couple different things that we uh, that I have planned, possibilities. Um, but anyway, it's going to be a little more interesting than just it's over. All right. New sensors with a little bit better planet scanning. I, w I don't know if I really want to do that. Let's see about selling it. Yeah, it's worth selling. This is very worth selling. Take a Saigorn quest to kill pirates. All right. So, I have a quest in Sector 5 for a nav beacon. Quest in Sector 6 to show up. Um, I still need to reveal an entire engraver planet. And the Saigorn want me to kill pirates. How am I doing on gruff relations? I don't know if I really want to do that right now. Friendly with the Saigorn, though, so maybe. Maybe I should go for their ship. Plus, I got that officer that lets me... Uh, didn't I get hyperspace savant? I did. So how come I can only jump a distance of one? I guess I better look into that. So, as I did before, I'm going to cut this video off now. And uh, I'm going to check out why my hyperspace savant isn't working. And I'm going to continue trying to unlock ships. But hey, I got two this time. Um, they're probably the easy ones. So it's going to take a while to get the rest. you got to do uh, some race quests. But still, I'm trying to unlock ships. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Bye.